let's get our rectangle going and let me reset the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Just want to roll this out. I really hope somebody makes this today. And y'all can tell me what you think. I'm brushing this, but I want you to know that when you're doing this, just have fun with it. Like, just relax. Don't worry about if your dough looks like an amoeba under a, under a microscope. The only, the only thing I would say that is important here is that you have fun and you just get into it and just enjoy the process of shaping the dough. Just enjoy the fact that you have the time to bake. And, um, you know, you can just, it's okay if it's not going to be like perfectly even all the way across. It's not really going to matter in the end. Okay, that's big enough. Again, you know, like a casserole dish. Really works. See, and, and see, I'll tell you right here. It's a little thin right here, and it's a little thick on this end. It, this one's not even even. But it's not gonna matter. I like the bread to have a little cinnamon sugar on it as well as spices on the apples. Okay, so what I, so in, I hope I made it clear in the ebook to, to mix up a little bit of sugar. Like that's, that's almost a tablespoon of sugar. And then like a half a teaspoon of the cinnamon. Give that a stirly whirly. Okay, there we go. Evenly distributed, right? Okay, notice that I left like about an inch of space around the rectangle. That's gonna make things pinch better. Now let's spice the apples. Recipe is in the ebook. Go to jillmckeever.com, right there on the front page, holiday dinner rolls and swirly breads. That's your friend. Chopped walnuts. I meant to stir this in to the sugar and the cinnamon mix. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be baking for you. All right, just as much as you want to eat. You could do pecans if you want to do pecans. I have walnuts on hand. That's why I'm using walnuts. On the apple, try to keep it out of the middle. Just, just like we did the cranberries. You're going to have a lot more apple than we did cranberries. Just really spread this apple out. Just a few pieces in the middle but it actually works out better if you keep the apple on the edge. All right, then just try to keep the apple separated. Perfection is not necessary. Just breathe. Breathe. Now we're ready to roll. All right, I wanna pull this over about an inch and a half. Okay, and then we're gonna flop it. Again, this doesn't make a roll. It's like a, it's just a flat roll but it's okay. Pull, flip, pull, flip, pull, flip, pull, flip, pull, flip, pull, flip. And if you can, if you can time it where the seam ends up on the bottom, great. Okay, pinch the ends. Bam! Lightly dusted. Rub that in there. Ba -da -da -da. Lift this up and over. Hey, let go. Did you see that? Fell out. Doesn't matter. Watch. It's okay. It's okay. And even this, look, this one's not even perfect. I got skinny, thin dough down here. On this end, it's like thick. There's a lot of extra dough here because I didn't, I didn't roll this out perfectly. It's not going to matter. Okay, time to cut. Just like we did the cranberry bread, we're going to cut this down the middle. Bam, bam. Now this is gonna get messier. I, I want you to see how terrible this is gonna get. I mean, the first time I made this apple swirl bread, my dough was fresh. It had not been in the refrigerator. It was just room temperature. It was rise temperature. And it was so clumsy and awkward. I was freaking out. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
Okay, it's, it's, it's a mess. All right, we're going to try to turn this cut side up. Oh. I want you to see me having a hard time so you don't, so you can relax when it's happening to you. Okay, see how it wants to flop out? It's because of the spices, okay? It, the spices are keeping the bread, the, the cuts, the layer here separated, and that's why it's gonna keep flopping. So on this end, we're just gonna go ahead and start that cross, start the cross, pinch, okay? Um, all right, now, <laughs> ready? Okay, it's just, it's gonna get bad. It's gonna get really stressful right here. <gasps> Stuff's gonna fall out. <gasps> You're gonna have to pick this up all at once. Oh, there's the other bread. Crap, hold on, I'm busy. Wait a minute. Okay, move that over. Uh, okay, hold on. And then we gotta, uh, oh my gosh, it's falling out. Everything's falling out. Oh, okay, 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 okay. There we go. We got it. We got it. All right, we got it. We got it. We did it. We did it. Okay. And then we're gonna. Well, this is the ugly end. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start folding from the ugly end. Fold the ugly end in. Make sure the cuts are up. Make sure that cut is up. This is so important. Okay. And that. Oh, and look. And the big fat end. Put that on the outside. If you've got one fat end, I mean, besides this one right here. Uh, um, put the fat in on the outside so it gets baked. Okay, now I'm ready to put that in another dish. All right, and I just did the bottom, just just enough. Again, no fats in this bread. All right, now, um, just kind of, I'm pulling that in. Drop it in, spread it out a little bit so there's room. Got that fat in, and then all these pieces that fell out, just use them to make your bread pretty. That's it. There's my nuts that fell out. Put that in there. Okay, now we're ready for the second rice. 40 minutes, 90 degree temperature, Breville Smart Oven Air. The magic of television. Here's the one I made before we went live. Same bread, okay? Now I'm gonna pop that in the oven, let that go for 20 minutes. Middle rack, middle of the rack, 20 minutes. Done. Moment of truth. Bam. Ho, ho. See, look. Doesn't matter how ugly it starts out to be. It turns out beautiful once it's baked. Ba, ba, ba. When this is coming out of the oven, it might, the sugar, you might see the sugar creates shiny places on the dough. And you might, it might make the dough look like it's uh, not cooked but 20 minutes is plenty long enough. All right, here we go. Spiced apple walnut glazed with powdered sugar and apple cider glaze. Oh yeah. Pour some sugar on me. 